Today we are going to be learning about something called place value. We write numbers using only 10 symbols. These 10 symbols are called digits. With them, we can make any number we want. For example, let's make the number 500. So we pick a 5, a 0, and another 0. The number 500 has three digits, 1, 2, and 3. How many digits are in this number? There are two digits, 1 and 2. Each digit has a place in a number. In the number 89, the first place is taken by the digit 9. The second place is taken by the number 8. And each place is worth different. The first place is worth 1. So we call it the ones place. The second place is worth 10. So we call it the tens place. The tens place, worth 10 times more than the ones place. For example, between 8 and 9, who is greater? Correct. The 9 is greater. But in the number 89, even though 8 is less than 9, the 8 is worth much more than the 9, because it's in the tens place. Which means its value is no longer 8, but 80. And the 9 keeps its original value. Because it's in the ones place. Digits in the ones place keep the same value. If we add 80 plus 9, we get the original number. And this is why we call it place value. Place value is the value of a digit in a number. For example, look at this number. 666. Three sixes. But don't get confused. Each six has a different place value. And? Did you understand everything? Great. Let's look at another example together. Let's try another number. 157. This number has three digits. Each digit in this number has a different place or position. First place. Second place. And third place. And each place is worth different. The first place is worth one. We call it the ones place. The second place is worth 10. We call it the tens place. And the third place is worth 100. So we call it the hundreds place. One is less than five. But in this number, the one is worth more than the five because its place value is more important. The hundreds place turns this one into a 100. Five is less than seven. But this five is worth more than this seven. The tens place turns this 5 into a 50. And finally, the 7 in the ones place keeps its value. Because the digits in the ones place keep the same value. If we add these three place values, we get our original number. This number is 744. It's a number of three digits. The first digit is four and is in the ones place, so its place value is four. The second digit is also four and is in the tens place, so its place value is 40. The third digit is seven and is in the hundreds place, so its place value is 700. If we add them up, we get our number.
How many digits are in this number? That's right. This number has seven digits. How many digits are in this number? That's correct. This number has four digits. What is the place value of four in this number? You are right again. The 4 has a place value of 40. What is the place value of 2 in this number? That's correct. The 2 has a place value of 200. What is the place value of 8 in this number? That's right. The 8 has a place value of 80. What is the place value of 2 in this number? It's correct. The 2 has a place value of 2. What is the place value of 1 in this number? You are right again. The 1 has a place value of 10. What is the place value of 7 in this number? That's right. The 7 has a place value of 70. What is the place value of 0 in this number? That's correct. The zero has a place value of zero. What is the place value of one in this number? It's correct. The one has a place value of 100. All right. That is the end of this video. I hope you understood everything, and I see you again in the next video.